Hi guys, welcome back to this African perspective. Thank you all for stopping by. Okay, so uh, I'm very sure that a lot of you are aware of the military draft that is about to happen, and also the U.S. government is trying to draft a lot of people. Maybe they say maybe 18 to 24, like those ages, and you know it goes up like that from time to time. Like eventually, when they carry a lot of people and they go for the war they draft them eventually it's, the numbers will keep going higher and higher which even women have been included saying that they will maybe women might actually go but it's still not confirmed yet okay so right now there's a lot of tiktok videos of the gen z generation the millennials and all are just talking about how they will not go for such a war because i mean what what are you fighting for <laughs> if you think about it i know most times in war really they don't care if you want to go or you don't want to go most times you know it's either you go to jail or you go for that war and go and fight but at the end of the day you need to think all, what are, all i'm thinking about is like how do you expect a person to have a zeal right to go and fight for no cause, no reason. They literally have no reason as to why they want to go and fight. So before we get right into this video, right, make sure you please click the like button, subscribe to the channel, and also if you're new here, hit the notification bell also to get notified every time I post a new video. I keep seeing these TikToks for this draft. They're gonna do a draft, right? They're gonna draft all these kids off to war. Uh, I'm just telling you right now, none of them are gonna go. They're just not going to go. What are you worried about? No one's drafting your kids. You know why? Because they're not going to fucking go. These kids aren't going. How are they going to notify them that they've been drafted? The mail? You think these kids are out checking the fucking mail? They don't leave their goddamn bedrooms. And they wouldn't be worth a shit anyways, most of them. You want to draft these kids, figure out a way for them to fly drones from their fucking bedroom. Or operate some kind of a fucking robot soldier from their bedroom. And you could probably get them to do that. They'll participate that way. But if you just think everyone, man and woman in America, between 18 and whatever the fuck age, are going to just go to war because you said, oh, you gotta, that's the funniest shit I've ever heard. You can't get these kids to fucking do it. They're not even paying their fucking student loans. You think they're going to fucking go to war because the government said so? Y'all are fucking tripping be honest a lot of people in this generation have a lot of mental issues i'm telling you the the issues with the generation like it's a lot like everybody's dealing with economic crisis and seeing how the government do not even care and all they're doing is the u.s government is taking every money like they're taking a lot of money billions and billions to go and be giving it to other countries right to help them fight their war always intervening in other people's issues while the citizens are crying and saying oh the, you know they're struggling and nobody is coming for, to their own aid nobody's helping them they literally have to suffer and struggle by their own self and you're telling them that they should be so patriotic and go and fight for what Listen up. So someone on here said that we might be drafted for war. And at this point, I am not putting anything past this universe because we are seeing things that we thought would never happen. So I think all of us collectively should come up with like a game plan. For instance, we should ask for things we want as soon as we come back. The things I'm gonna ask for are an apartment complex building and a couple of investment properties because I wanna be secure as soon as I come back from said war. Um, the second thing I'm gonna ask for is free groceries for the rest of my life as soon as I'm back. Um, and the last thing, because of how everything is going and all the robot bullshit I'm hearing, I wanna be protected for the rest of my life. I wanna live in a universe where only humans are i don't want no ai bullshit i don't want no scary robots uh, handling my delivery or i don't i don't want to live like that so those are my three conditions i hope you have your three conditions ready because at this point it's highly possible that we're gonna be drafted i'm i'm kind of scared <laughs> who's gonna tell her i think she thinks she's gonna come back the plan is not for you to come back so i'm just going through tiktok and i find this work and writing up a bill to reinstitute the draft for young men. I don't even understand what's funny about that, but keep going. Like we ain't going. Not we. Y'all ain't going. I'm already not going because you know I'm a woman and I'm a single parent. But um let me just make something clear. The military does not care about your situation. Ladies and gentlemen, 
If we going, we all going. Is everybody saying Gen Z is gonna get drafted? Like, <laughs> no, we're not. And you know why I know that? Because we're just gonna say no. Like, how are they gonna actually force us to get up and go to work? We have things to do nowadays. We have twerk, be bisexual, eat hot chip, lie. And we're also like really mentally ill. I have like six of these. And finally, like guns are like so tacky. Like, can you imagine just like pulling up with a gun? Like that is so embarrassing. Like, what is this, the revolutionary fucking war? No. Like, let's just chat. It's not gonna happen, don't worry. Shouldn't worry, I don't know. I did the legal research and I don't think you're gonna like what I found out. Current law says that all Gen Z males must register for the draft. If Congress passes a law that authorizes war in the draft, then selected Zoomers must go to war unless they have conscientious objector status. Now that's really hard to get. So if you don't have CEO status and you still refuse to go to war, then you face up to five years in prison and up to $250,000 in fines. So it is not legal for Gen Z to refuse to go to war. I'm Ian Corazon. With the current rate of poverty, I think there will be a lot of people who would rather they go to jail than actually go fight that war and lose their life for no reason. All you're going to see is buddy bags. So I'm sure that some would actually rather go to jail because they will be fed. Like it's going to be food that they have there random because some of them are really poor and they cannot even afford to buy food. So if they go to jail, they will get fed. Okay. And everything is taken care of. They ain't got to go to work. Everything is going to be. I think it's funny, but yeah, that's really what I think. So many people have commented this and they're like, you should just, you know, deny the draft and they'll just put you in jail. Let me tell you why I can't go to jail. One, I'm too pretty for jail. Hell no. Two, I'm gay as fuck. I'm a fuck somebody in that jail and it's gonna mess my life up. I already know. Three, jail does not have my safe foods and I refuse to eat whatever the fuck they decide to feed me. I need my safe foods, bitch. Four, I like to sleep. I'm in bed right now. You really think they gonna let me just chill in bed all the time? Hell no. Five. You see what I'm doing right now? You see this? I'm recording a TikTok. You know what I can't do in jail? This. And I fucking love doing this. Six. I'm a no touch type of gal. Like I'm super affectionate once you have permission to touch me. But if you don't have permission to touch me, bitch, don't fucking touch me. Those random ass searches that they be doing, guards be touching all up on you, throwing you against walls and shit. Hell no. Seven. If I get overstimulated, not a single person gives a fuck. And there's like nothing that i can do about them not giving a fuck because i'm in fucking jail plus being a felon just means there's a bunch of shit that i can't do like i'm a black queer mentally ill woman i'm already in jail i would rather hearing that there's a draft coming i want to know how many men in their 30s or 40s when that door gets knocked on are gonna go fight for greedy fucking politicians that have been stealing our money and ruining our way of life for decades and die in a country halfway across the world, for what? How many out there are gonna go fight? Cause I'm not. Fuck them. Fuck them greedy politicians, fuck their war, and fuck everything that they're about. I'll go sit in a jail cell for the rest of my life before I fight for these greedy fucking pigs. If a military draft were to occur in the US, and I don't think this is gonna happen and I hope it doesn't, they would probably select people between 18 and 25 first. But can you imagine if they sent people in their 30s? What would that be like? Colonel, sir, I have that report you asked for on the current status of our troops, sir. All right, let's see that. Thank you, Sergeant. Wait, half our men are down? Were, were we attacked and no one told me? <laughs> no, nothing like that, sir. Um, so... Like, half of them just kind of slept funny, so they can't really move very much today. Uh, Private Smith, uh, he forgot his special pillow, so his neck, he cannot look to the right, so it's a real situational problem. Uh, Private Jackson, he he sneezed, honestly, sir. Um, and his he just threw his back completely out. We might have to shoot him. Okay, yeah, well, we got a pretty big operation coming up. Are the ones who are left at least willing to fight? Oh, hell yeah. Uh, they've been ready to kill since 2008 when the boomers crashed the entire market on them. With the rumors of war going on right now, it's good for people to know what Biden signed. So President Biden signed an executive order enabling all qualified Americans, all qualified Americans to serve their country in uniform. Now, this is an executive order and it does mean, it's very clear here, that gender identity should not be a bar to military service. So that means it doesn't matter if you're trans, if you're non-binary, you are required to serve too. And with the rumors of war going on 
and the boundaries that have been stepped over and what's happening and brewing right now. And this is, this is, the end result is evident is what I'm trying to say. But did you know that that executive order was signed in? And it wasn't signed in yesterday either. This was 2021. So if you want to see a video on who would be required, comment below. All you patriots. Peace. Someone said they're going to draft us to go to war. And I came up with like a way better idea. Do like credit card forgiveness for and i'll sign up like i'll do four years yes sir who do you want me to kill zero at my my credit and i'm gonna have like a 700 when i get out um throw in like tax forgiveness oh my god i'll do eight years like sorry very funny i do not support women being drafted for the record but very very funny yeah they would not be the best tank drivers so have y'all heard they're about to write up the bill to reinstitute the draft because they don't have enough people joining the military yeah <laughs> so what the fuck y'all gonna do i got my plan i got my plan or i got my shit figured out as soon as they come knocking on my door this is the u.s military we're looking for shamar elian the nigga that be on tiktok i'm gonna open up the door and be like this is him and i'm gonna be staring up at the sun until my motherfucking retinas bleed. I mean, I would love to go to the military, sir, but I lost my eyesight a while back. It's okay, we got a surgery to get your ass 2020. Oh, for real? Oh, um, well also, um, I'm gay. Yeah, we been past that shit. We don't give a fuck. Get in the Jeep. Fuck, I forgot y'all don't give a fuck. Okay. Um, well, okay, y'all go ahead. I'm gonna meet y'all down here. <laughs> no, but for real though, I'm I'm not going. Ain't no way. There is no fucking way. I look like I'm supposed to be in the military. They definitely gonna try to fucking drive me. Look at me. Look at this shit. They gonna take one look at me. 6'1", 220. Yeah, let's get them in there. Yeah, I I've been spending all this time working out, just preparing myself to go fight for the country. Th these, these arms is for show. These arms is for... Th this is just for the tank top. This is just for the jersey. That's all this is for. This ain't for y'all. But at the same time, if they do try to come and draft me, I can't go to jail. I can't go to jail. I look way too good for jail way too good and i'm not saying i look too good period right because out here in normal world just walking around i'm probably right above average probably a smooth seven seven and a half or something around that on my good day but in jail bitch i'm beyonce i lick my lips too much they're gonna be passing my ass around like a fucking cigarette yeah i can't go i can't go i don't know what i'm gonna do what y'all gonna do i want to know what y'all gonna do I, I can't do it i still i gotta figure out my plan my blind, my blind plan just, just went to shambles as I just explained it. But yeah, what y'all gonna do? Cause I, I can't do it. After to the military, I am most excited to see the confrontation between commanding officers and the girls. You think we're gonna let you yell at us? You think we're gonna do something without a please and thank you? We've all had controlling ex-boyfriends. We know not to put up with that bullshit. Like, let's sit down and have a conversation about what you want and what I want and we'll reach a happy medium. Because there's no way I'm doing what you want when you use that tone with me. You think you can push us around like you do with these men? Think again, baby. You're gonna learn some manners. And why I find all those videos very funny is the fact that people actually think they would care. The uh, US government is going to care and be like, oh, okay, I hear you. Like what you have to say really matters. It means a lot. Oh my God, we care about what you have to say and what you don't want. By the time, time will tell, time will tell actually. Like we ain't gotta say much. But anyways, guys, that's it for this video. Thank you all for watching. Make sure you please click the like button, subscribe to the channel if you're new here because subscription is free, okay? and hit the notification bell to get notified every time i post a new video and leave your thoughts in the comment section i'll see you guys in the next video bye